guys and welcome back to Burst of Sunshine. It's Ashley and today we are doing our very first Christmas video of the year. I'm super excited. We are doing DIY gifts and these are not the regular DIY gifts you see all the time. These are just a little bit different and they're all a little unique and custom and awesome. So let's do this. Starting with a DIY custom message hammer. You can make your hammer say whatever you want. You are going to need a hammer. I got mine at Walmart for like $3. Um, a wood burning kit, a pen or marker. I ended up using a marker and a quote for your hammer. Um, I'm going to put thank you for being the dad you didn't have to be. I printed out the quote, the perfect size to fit on my hammer and I just kind of used it as a reference to look at while I wrote it out with marker onto my hammer. Now that it is wrote out, I'm going to take a warmed up wood burner and I'm going to just trace over the words and burn it into the hammer so it's kind of indented in there deeply. If you are a child, please get an adult to do this. Wood burners are dangerous. They are hot. They will burn you. Please be careful, guys. But that is it. You have a sweet, super awesome message hammer and it is just like so thoughtful. Next is a cardboard book of a family for like babies and kids. So I took this book, I actually got it at the Goodwill for 99 cents and I planned out who I wanted on each page because I wanted a page to represent each family member. I measured out how big each page was and I also measured out how big the cover was so I knew how big I needed to make my images. So just using PicMonkey I made me some images and I'm going to take the book apart and then we have, you see the cover here, how it's overlapped, I'm going to try to replicate that and then we have our little cardboard book so starting with the cardboard book I'm gonna take some pictures that I just printed out at Walmart um, not sponsored by the way I mean but Walmart hit me up you know what I'm saying um, I made the images the size what I need them to fit on the pages and I printed them on five by seven sheets now I'm going to trim the excess off so they are closer to the size of the page and of course I rotated primary colors because I thought it was super cute and I'm just going to Mod Podge the pictures into the book in the order that I had planned them out. This one's the best one. Aunt Sissy, that's me. Once that is completely done, you see the excess paper hanging off the edge of each page. I just trimmed that off so it was flush with the cardboard and then we have these awesome pages. For the cover, I measured how big my cover was and made an image of that size and then I made it about a half an inch to an inch larger than that so it can do the little overlap and I printed that out also on Walmart Photo. I cut it out and then I fold one edge over just right where I want the image to start because I wanted it to end right at the bottom of the baby's body. So I folded that over, placed the book cover inside of it and then I kind of eyeballed it to see where I needed to fold it where I wouldn't cut off any of my words and then I folded the other sides over again check and make sure you're not like folding over words that you need to be showing on the cover. Using some handy dandy E6000 glue I'm going to glue my cover down. I actually decided to do like one side at a time so first I glued the top down and because I couldn't sit there all day and hold this down because that would have just been a pain in the bootay, I took some binder clips actually and I clipped this together just to kind of hold it together tightly and then I did the bottom half and again binder clips and if you don't have binder clips let me just tell you paper clips make a great alternative once those sides had completely dried yes I weighted them down with all kinds of random stuff I'm going to take my binder clips and my paper clips off and we are going to move to the sides again with some E6000 I'm just going to squirt it onto the edge and then I'm going to fold over my excess paper so we have the beautiful little overlap like a regular book has using again binder clips and paper clips I'm clipping these bad boys down so that way it glues completely flat once both sides have completely dried your covers done that's it now we just need to put this awesome book together I know this seems like a lot but it's really not that hard just make the pages make the cover and glue it all together so I'm going to lay out the cover and then lay out the book on top of it see how I want it of course it's gonna look super cute like a little cardboard book I love it I just love it so much so I'm gonna take again E6000 because you just can't do a craft project without that and I'm going to glue the book back into the inside of the cover again with the front page and the very back page and I suggest putting a lot of glue because if a baby's gonna be playing with this he's gonna be roughhousing it and you're gonna want it to hold up and withstand so I weighted it down with a big tub of Crisco and that is it you have this great book it's awesome and last but certainly not least we have the DIY Shanauza glass yes I said that weird on purpose let's do this I take a glass and a printout of a schnauzer that will fit in the glass some tape some oil-based Sharpie markers in white and black or heck whatever colors you want I mean do you boo I don't know what color your schnauzer is 
some alcohol and wipes or cotton balls. So that is all we need and let's do it. I'm going to take the tag off of the bottom of my glass and I'm going to clean it with the alcohol and the little cotton balls just so the glass is clean and there's no dust. Now with our schnauzer cut out. Dun 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 dun. I'm going to take my schnauzer and I'm just going to put it in and make sure his mouth fits about the size and place where I want it. And if you're a lover of schnauzers, look away. Oh no, look away. Cut his head off. What have I done? Oh my god. Anyways, we're going to take some tape. We're going to put some tape on our little schnauzer mouth. I'm going to call him Beardy. My cousin that I made this for has a schnauzer, and I call him Beardy. His name is Tucker, but I call him Beardy. We're going to tape Beardy's face right where we want it in the glass, not too far up in the top in case you drink out of that side. Taking the black oil-based Sharpie marker, we are going to outline his nose and all of his little furry beard. And again, this is actually a super, probably the easiest project of all of them in this whole video. It takes literally no time. It's super simple and it turns out super cute. And you could totally make this with any dog mouth. You can look up like a pit bull dog mouth or whatever kind of dog you have. I was just making a schnauzer at the time. I'm going to color in his nose and let that completely dry. Once the black has dried, I'm just going to peel the template off just so I can kind of get a better view of what I'm doing and I'm going to take my white oil based sharpie paint marker thing and I'm going to fill in Beardy's beard because Beardy needs his beard filled in. Once you have the white beardiness drawn in you're going to sit and let it dry and then draw on the black opening of his mouth which I lost the footage to. I'm so sorry. So put this on a cookie sheet and bake it in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, that is it, guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked all three of these DIY Christmas gift projects, and they could be for Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, whatever you want to give them for. They are just a little bit different than the typical ones you see. I thought they were super cute, super original, super custom, and anyone would love to get these. I hope you like it. If you do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye!